Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan or Darwin Design here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm showing you guys a uh, breakdown of this Kobe Bryant wallpaper a graphic I made uh, for August 24th or like Mamba Day. Um, this is one of my favorite things I've ever made because there's some meaning to it, and I just really loved how it turned out. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a breakdown um, as to how I made it. So. I'm going to go ahead and start from the very bottom layer, walk through all the color correction, all that stuff. I'm going to try and keep it pretty quick, but it will give you a better idea as far as how I went about creating something like this. So I start every uh, project with just hex colors so I can have them to grab, pull from if I ever need them. And um, this TV wallpaper I actually got from Envato, uh, which is a good resource for, um, for uh, textures, wallpapers, whatever to uh, use in designs. Um, they do require a membership, but it may be worth it depending on your situation um, I would recommend looking into it so next thing I did was added the mask so um, there's actually a lot of lighting corrected on this so this is basically the original picture I added some skin using topaz darkened it a little bit with brightness and contrast layers you can see there's a little bit of white around his edges I'm trying to emulate the lighting or uh, simulate the lighting or to, to, to better fit the scenario which is ideally the TVs are presenting a glow behind him and he has like a darker front half, so kind of what I was going for. And then um, I emulated that in the shadows, or I replicated that in the shadows. Uh, just a quick reflection, add some shadows at his feet, a little bit of brightness contrast um, to uh, sh reflect that um, with the television. So and then here are the TV screen. So this is what took probably the longest. Um, so these are actually really simple. Basically what I do, I'll just pick I'll come down here one more visible this one here so um, you can see it's this television right here basically all I do is I select it using whatever selection lasso uh, pen tool whatever and then I uh, just get a regular picture I put it on black and white and the layers on linear uh, light with a 48% opacity so you can see that's how it looks originally but that kind of those blending options help it blend a little bit and then um, on top of all that I threw a noise up here to uh, kind of give it like a grainy television look. So that's that. And then um, I also threw a blur on there to help create some depth. You can see the farther it is away from uh, the mask or Kobe, the blurrier it gets. And the closer they are, the more visible they are. And I threw a little just white brush, put it on overlay to help them glow a little bit. And um, that's that. Uh, next thing I did was TV reflections, so basically same thing as this, just so that they would kind of reflect and have like the lights show up on the studio. And I actually really like how it turned out. Um, so that's that. Next thing, this is very subtle, but just something to have in the background is these championship banners. Um, I just pulled a picture from online and I put a little color over it, blurred it a little bit, and then a little noise. Um, just so there's a little something going on up top. If you don't notice it, it's whatever. If you do, it's a nice little touch. Um, that's that. So as far as overlays go, very simple. Just some blue color burning and dodging. So I just got a, that sampled the blue from the television screen and put it on color burn for the darker colors and then color dodge for the lighter ones. And um, that's that. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into color correction. Now this is evidently where all the magic happens. Um, so there's a lot going on here. So I divided up into multiple groups so we can kind of walk through it a little bit. So I've just base camera raw uh, layer where I go through and just add lights, darks, clarity, stuff like that. And then uh, these here. So I'll go through them, darkness, and then all the way up. So um, these are just kind of setting the tone here. Nothing crazy. I mean, I can't break down each of these layers, but basically what I do to get them is just, they're just camera raw. Um, layers so it's either presets or here i'll show you if you don't know how to get the camera raw just to give you an idea i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this so let's go to filter camera raw filter and then you just go to basic and then this is kind of what i'm playing with here uh, temperature tint and you can also go to presets and uh, get some different stuff there but that's basically all i'm doing in these color correction uh groups is just playing with camera raw getting different colors lighting um textures whatever and then also utilizing presets they have default ones in photoshop where you can import some of your own um so that's kind of what all these are that's why it's all merged as, as opposed to usually you would see like gradient layers and stuff like that that's kind of all done through these layers so um yeah that's that and then i also added some black and white to the screens which i actually reincorporate color back in later 
Uh, added some snakes to the bottom here. So these were kind of a pain because I decided to add them in later. So um, I had to update them with the uh, with the color correction that was already done. So those are them there. And then just some black and white contrast, camera raw, and then a little bit of blending. And you can't even really see them, but it's a good touch. You could definitely see the one to the right. But um, yeah, just some details. Um, now this is just correcting the lighting using just simple usually what i'll do is i'll go very harsh so if i want some darkness i'll go really dark and then use a layer mask to make it apparent on some areas harsher less harsh etc same with the lights um so i can get all sorts of ranges as you can see this is kind of correcting the coloring or the lighting rather um making more of an emphasis on the light behind them and then this is where kind of everything gets brought out <laughs> so you can see it's pretty harsh there so these first ones um, are just really emphasizing the lights and darks. Um, then this here, uh, these two layers, I just up the clarity a little bit and I actually dragged this layer. I copied it, pasted it over the top and uh, put it on hue so I can get some of that jersey color back to the purple and uh, some of those blues back in there. Cause it was turning a little bit of green. I kind of wanted to avoid that. So uh, putting it back to that blue color this I just called like dreaminess. So this is basically also utilizing camera raw filter presets to get more of a, uh, looks like a lowered contrast, kind of like a moody uh, type vibe. Then these color lookups. Um, so I use crisp winter. And then these uh, these few uh, make it pop and teal slash oranges are from uh, a pack I bought. I want to say it's from Ethan J. Um, not 100% sure, but shout out to him, I guess. And um, so that's that. Then just some finishing touches. Um, so I curved it. As as y'all know from my last video, I'll show you guys how to do this. Very simple, but uh, it does a great job of filling out the, the design. So I'll show you how. Uh, go to camera raw and then go to optics and up the distortion. And that's basically it. Uh, not that much, but up it. You can, um, I tend to do like 1920. And that's how I kind of got it. It kind of looks like it's coming at you a little bit more as a little bit of, of perspective. And there's a little curve on the edges with the televisions and stuff like that. So then I put a Gaijin blur. So I, usually I would do radio blur. Um, but I wanted to go for a softer studio setting. It's going more for realism. And I figured uh, Gaijin works the best. These are just RGBs. So you can't really notice them unless you look really hard. But I'll show you how I went about making these as well. So. I'm gonna keep pulling from this camera raw filter um, layer at the bottom just because it's easier to edit. But basically, here I'll, I'll go ahead. So you just want to shift your design into direction. So up, down, left, right, pick your poison. I'm gonna go down, go to blending options, and then under here and channels under advanced blending. You can see this is kind of where you get it. So I want to say I did blue for this one, but you can see it kind of brings out some yellow, some blues. So that's all I was doing for this RGB one. Yeah, I was on blue. Um, so that's that. And then I just had a little bit more brightness and contrast um, to bring out some lights and darks. And last but not least, I did some selective coloring. So I usually do two when I do these. So this one was for the base colors to get some of them back to normal. Uh, deeper blue and then a more of a, a purple on his, on his uh, shirt. And then I do one with tone. So... For these, I go into uh, the blacks and I mess with these three up top as opposed to just messing with these ones. So the neutrals and the white. So those are the three I pull from. Um, I do these three here, cyan, magenta, and yellow on all of these white neutrals and blacks to play with the tones. And you probably can't really tell. It's very subtle, but uh, it makes them show up a little bit different. It'll have some colors throughout. Um, so it's just a little extra touch. Throw a little vibrance on there brighten it up, make it a little bit more saturated. And that's that. So um, I hope I did a good job as far as explaining how I went about this. Um, I know it's a little bit harder to go in depth due to the how the color, color correction is done with merging and stuff like that. But um, I mean, that's that. So uh, I really love how this piece turned out. So I'm happy to be able to share a little bit more in depth uh, with you as far as how I went about making it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, my socials are in the description as always. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.